Streamers, if you're here, then that means you're either here to learn more about StreamerBot, you've come over from my previous StreamerBot video, or you're coming over from the Twitch channel. Either way, this video here is going to be all about StreamerBot. If for some reason you don't know what StreamerBot is, it is a new program that connects to your Twitch channel that allows you to create actions that can be controlled on your Twitch stream. If this is your first time ever hearing about StreamerBot, I would recommend you watch this video first. This video goes into detail about how to get StreamerBot installed, connected to your Twitch account, connected to your OBS, connected to voice control, and also all of the things that StreamerBot is capable of. But this video here is gonna be all about your actions and more or less how to use StreamerBot. And that brings us over to our sponsor, me. Merch available now. You can't tell me it's not cute. Look at it, look at it. Come on over to the Twitch channel and pick some up. All right, now I swear I'm done wasting your time. So now the first thing that you do when you open up StreamerBot is you're gonna go ahead and take a look at the tab that says actions. And that's of course, assuming you already watched the first video and you have everything connected properly, you're gonna go to your actions tab. Now, when you first open up StreamerBot, this entire thing here is gonna be blank, similar to this side here. Obviously, I already have a bunch of actions. Okay, so get very familiar with this part. Actions is going to be anything that happens through StreamerBot. What I mean by that is any voice commands, any alerts, any chat commands, any channel point redemption anything like that is going to be created as an action so when you first open this up you're not going to have any of these folders here all of these folders are here because obviously i've already created actions on streamerbot so basically whenever you create any action you are just going to right click and click add now self-explanatory whatever the name of your channel point is i'm going to be teaching you guys how to recreate the channel point i have charizard appears now charizard overheat One thing that I definitely recommend is you properly set up your folders here through your groups. So that way your actions don't end up looking like this. Make sure to use groups. All right, and I know that you're looking at this and you have no idea what you're looking at, but don't worry, I got you. This is a little bit more complicated of a channel point, but during the process, it's gonna teach you a lot of different things that you can use in smaller redemptions or commands. For example, if you just wanted to do something like a chat command where every time someone types something in your chat, it plays a sound like this. No, no. You'll learn how to do alerts and smaller actions like that in the format of this channel point. You'll see. The very first thing that happens in that channel point redemption is Charizard pops up on the screen. So then it's going to get a little inception -y here. In OBS, you are going to add a media source. Now, I already have one created, but otherwise, you're just going to grab the file from your computer. There he is, Charizard in all of his glory. So now that he's on the screen, I'm going to click this little eyeball here to make him invisible. Voila. A little bit of a footnote. This isn't going to affect you too much if you only have one scene in OBS, but if you do have multiple scenes in OBS that you want this action to occur on, you are going to have to copy and paste that action in every single scene. So if you do have like a just chatting scene and a gameplay scene, you will have to copy and paste the media source in every single scene. You are going to have to create this sub action here, OBS source visibility state for every scene. I know that sounds a little confusing. I promise you it's not as confusing as it sounds. And now we've created the action action here Charizard under the group name I've just named it YouTube test so now we see the sub action box here and as you can see there's nothing in it so we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to add action in this instance we're gonna go down to OBS we're gonna go to set source visibility state this first drop down for scene is gonna be all of the scenes that you have in OBS so in this case we're doing it on the scene YouTube 2 and the source is gonna be whatever source that you want to toggle on and off so in this case it's the Charizard image that we've made I named at Charizard. So now the very first thing we want to do is make Charizard visible. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you do have any other scenes that you want this to activate in, you are going to want to create the same exact thing. And if that was the case, we would just recreate another OBS source visibility state and we would put it on like our just chatting scene. Same thing, the visibility source of Charizard, we would make visible. Next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna add our sound. We're gonna right click here, add action down to sounds, and we're gonna play sound. Audio device is wherever you want that sound to play from. So in my case, mine is through my samples on my Go XLR device. Yours is gonna be through your system or whatever your outputting sound settings are. You're gonna click here, 
and you're just going to choose the file that you want to play finish playing before continuing now this part is kind of important and if all you're doing is just playing a sound then this part doesn't really matter but if you are planning on having any actions after the sound plays in which we are this is going to be important so finish playing before continuing what that will do is it will play the entirety of the sound and then whatever action comes after that it will wait until the sound is done and then it will play but we don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck finish but playing and then the sound that i have is actually a little bit loud so i want to turn it down to about 80 just to make sure it's not overpowering the rest of the mix and now that the sound is played i want to add a shader effect so we're going to right click and click add action and we're going to set source filter state so now we have my scene yt2 and our source which is my camera and then we're going to go through our filters these are all of the filters that i have activated on my camera i'm going to go down to the one called fire one and i'm going to make it visible but now there's a problem with what i've done so right here i do not want this sound to play at the exact same time as this filter but that's how i have it set i want to make sure that once this sound plays after the sound plays a little bit of time goes by before this shader activates so what i do is i add a delay add action delay we're gonna make this delay 20,000 milliseconds and there you go so now it plays the sound there will be a brief delay and then the filter state will activate following me so far perfect so now that we have that shader activated we're gonna go ahead and turn off the charizard animation the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna add the source visibility state just like we did earlier in the obs actions tab and then you're just gonna turn the visible state to hidden and now i want to add another 2000 millisecond delay and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a binding for a filter that i have through snapcam and now we're going to right click we're going to add another action this action is going to be for a keyboard press and now what this means is control shift f10 that is going to make my keyboard press control shift f10 to activate a hotkey now in snapcam i have bindings for all of these different filters to activate during my channel point so this is going to activate that automatically when chat triggers this channel point point. and now as soon as this hotkey activates what i want is i want to make sure to turn that shader off so we're going to right click we're going to add action action go back down to obs here and we're going to go over to set source filter state and then we're just going to want to make sure to turn fire one hidden again to turn that shader off so now the shader is turned off and we have the first part of our filter activated so now charizard has appeared on the screen the sound is played there was that delay and then we toggled our first initial filter we turned off that filter and now we have activated a snap cam filter and just to make sure that you're still following along here the very first thing we did is we activated the source visibility state to activate the charizard animation the next thing we did is we played the sound we added the brief delay about a 2000 millisecond delay after that delay we added a shader which a shader is just a filter in obs and then the next thing we're doing is turning that animation of charizard off then we do another delay another 2000 millisecond delay and then we're doing the hotkey through snap cam as soon as that filter turns on we are also turning that shader off and like i said this is going to be a bit more complicated than your run-of-the-mill alerts a lot of your alerts do end up looking like something like this so if you want alert command so when someone isn't going to be able to be chatting and they want to let you know that they're still there to support you would just right click add action and then you would go down to twitch and then you're going to click send a message to channel you can choose either your bot account to send it or your broadcaster account and then you're just going to go ahead and type in whatever message you want to activate when someone types exclamation point alert not all of your actions are going to be this layered some of your actions are going to be a simple chat command where you just type exclamation YouTube for example and then it goes ahead and sends a twitch chat of your link to the channel but yeah it's that simple then that action is done for example one of the channel points I have on my channel is a boo redemption I've actually had my community send me wave files of them booing at me in the discord so that way I could splice them all together and create a channel point sound redemption so that way if anyone redeems the boo channel point it plays a sound boo and that's it so in here right click add action and we're gonna go down to sound we're gonna click play sound and then just like earlier I'm gonna select my sample through my go XLR and then I'm just gonna find the sound that I want to play during this and in this case finish playing before continuing doesn't matter because that is the final action in this string all right and bear with me we're almost done and now we're gonna add another 2000 millisecond delay and once that delay is up I'm actually gonna add another hotkey through snap cam so same thing we did earlier add action and then keyboard press so what this does is it turns off the last filter and activates the new filter through snap cam because of that hotkey 
key. We're gonna add one more delay. This time, this one's gonna be a little bit longer, a 6,000 millisecond delay. Very last thing we're gonna do is one last keyboard press for Shift Z, which is actually like the hotkey program through Snapcam to turn off your filters. So what this does is it kind of finishes off the channel point by turning off all of the filters. So once you see it all together, it looks like this. Now Charizard, overheat! All right, poof, finally, we're done. We created the action. Wrong, you're not done. Save it. Click save settings. It will not save if you do not save it. You're gonna kick yourself in the ass if you don't save it. The next thing you are going to do is go to channel point slash rewards. This is gonna be a brand new channel point in Twitch. I'm gonna name it Charizard Test just because I already have a Charizard appears one. We're gonna make this available for one channel point. If I wanna change the cost to 500, I can do that. I wanna change the cost to, I don't know, 50,100, you can do that. But in this case, we're just gonna leave it at one. The prompt is gonna be whatever the user sees when they open this up. It doesn't really matter what it says. For this case, I'm just gonna put ZZZ. The background color here is gonna be whatever color the channel point button itself is. So in this case, it's Charizard. I'm gonna make it red. I wanna add a global cooldown of about 15 seconds on there, just so that way no one can activate Charizard appears while Charizard appears is happening. Since this channel point itself is a little bit longer, I'd hate for someone to use it and then activates on top of it and it ruins the whole channel. Point. So we just do a quick global cooldown of about 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure to add a group. I group all my channel points by the points, but you can group yours however you want. If you have filters or if you have sound channel points or whatever you need. These are just your folders. Now the action here, we're just going to go down and we're going to select the brand new one we just created, which was called Charizard. Now let's say we wanted to make that action, the Charizard action we just created, a chat command. You could do that. So you're going to go over here to commands. You're going to right click add. Now what you would do is you would type exclamation point Charizard and now if anybody in the chat types exclamation point Charizard nothing's gonna happen because you never selected the action you're gonna go down here to where it says action and you're gonna slide all the way down to that action we created Charizard once that's selected you click OK and now if anybody in your chat types exclamation point Charizard that action you just created will happen obviously I wouldn't want to do that because it would be chaos so we're gonna want to go in here maybe this is something I want just my moderators to be able to to do if my moderators wanted to show off this channel point redemption i'm going to go to moderators and click over allowed and now only moderators are allowed to do this command and then make sure same thing you're going to make groups just for everything so it doesn't get messy all right guys i know that that was a lot i know that that was really tough to follow i hope you guys were able to get through that if you do have any questions please 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 come on over to the discord or the twitch channel i will be happy to answer any of the questions you have because streamer bot is seriously going to be the future you can do everything everything here uh is the oh <laughs>